Hi everyone, back with another t- five minute stock analysis, this time on ASML. It's in a strange position of being a $350 billion company that you might not actually have heard of, but it's the backbone, the silent backbone of the semiconductor industry. It's in the business of making uh, lithography machines and has a 60% market share for photolithography machines and basically an earned monopoly for extreme ultraviolet lithography machines. So you may be asking, what, what are lithography machines? Well, they're basically used for etching silicon wafers in chip manufacture, so effectively stenciling. It basically develops the machine that pushes the amount of transistors that can be placed on chips of the same size. So it is allowed for the continuation of Moore's law and increase the advancement of the semiconductor industry and the digital economy. It is the only company that makes extreme ultraviolet lithography machines. And this is an extremely hard area to disrupt. It took ASML th- several decades to get to get to this position. And no other company has even got close, really. Uh, these EU- EUV machines are out in the field with uh, Samsung and T- Taiwan Semiconductor. Uh, ASML predicts 75% of its revenue will be EUVs by 2025. So it will effectively be cannibalizing the older tech of the deep ultraviolet machines. Um, so... They will be producing better tech, and crucially, the, the EUV machines are better margins. They're around two hundred million dollars each, which is terrific. And they're so complex that ASML needs to have a team on site, uh, every site, and they also provide their own their own software, which is obviously high margin. Um, the remainder of the business is the the more standard uh, deep ultraviolet machines and just general photolithography for less less intensive, uh, not really the five five seven nanometer sizes. Um, as one would expect, ASML puts up exemplary uh, financial figures. It made so these are all in euros, but it's made roughly sixteen billion dollars in net sales for the twenty twenty year, a nearly fifty percent gross margin, about two point five billion in R and D expenses. So it's not resting on its laurels; it's continuing to push R and D, and it's you know just under ten dollars earnings per share. Crucially, ASML thinks it can continue this growth around eleven percent through twenty thirty. So an eleven percent CAGR is Pretty fantastic if they're thinking this far out. And that's ahead of the roughly 8% f- predicted for the wider semiconductor industry. Um, ASML has estimated this revenue will be about 30, 20, between 24 and 30 billion euros by 2025, you know, 28 to 35 billion dollars, with gross margins up to 55%. So, this is a really key thing for ASML is expanding those gross margins as they change to EUV machines, as I mentioned earlier. And this is this is above its previous forecast, so which which is excellent. It shows the company is really not resting on its laurels. It's setting a high target to itself and it's exceeding them. Uh, the most recent financial results were again excellent: five point two billion euros in net sales. That's just under six billion dollars. Fifty one percent gross margin. Again, that's compared with forty eight point six from twenty twenty as a whole. Excellent, expanding the growth margin as they sell more EV machines. This is exactly what we want to see. Continued the push with R and D expenses. I mean, push that over. Over four quarters, and that'll be just under three three billion dollars. And they're increasing their earnings per share. That earnings per share there is roughly half of the whole year last year. So they're they're becoming a more profitable company with the expansion of the growth margin. This revenue growth is is thirty two percent year over year, which is absolutely excellent at this type of scale. Expanding gross margin. This is extremely strong gross margin for the industry, which I haven't really mentioned. This is really a gross margin story. This is high quality revenue because of the amount of margin they can confirm. And they've also confirmed 35% revenue growth for the for the full year. They've reiterated the guidance and they're, they're happy that they can achieve 35% revenue growth. ASML is a relatively rare case of an earned monopoly. It's one of the hardest businesses in the world to disrupt because the, the technology and the, the money to to make EUV machines from scratch, from scratch with no knowledge would be absolutely extraordinary. Um, and I think the stickiness and of the machines in the ecosystem makes it makes asml one of the hardest companies to disrupt in the world for sure and this is reflected in the price it's up a hundred percent over the over the year it's four p is now 44 which is roughly double the s p's of about 20 and it's a 350 billion market cap company it's just off its all-time highs i wouldn't consider this a screaming buying opportunity at, at this distance off its all-time highs it's significantly above its 200 day moving average I don't think ASML has ever really looked cheap. It just keeps on winning, and this has kept this has kept me out of the stock for a long time, to my detriment. And I believe that 
a five ten percent drop is a real will be a real opportunity for ASML because it's just a company that continues to win and will continue to win at ten at eleven percent rates over the next until twenty thirty by its own estimation. One possible buying opportunity in the near future is that EV machines are very supply chain intensive. They have many components, so short term perhaps it takes a hit with the current supply chain disruption worldwide. Uh, I'm not so sure, but I'll be looking out intently to see if there's any any dips because this is an absolutely fantastic company. Um, Thank you. Please like and subscribe.